Well, hey guys, got the old girl, got me a couple bales on it. I'm gonna take y'all up the road here. I'm gonna go up the road about three miles here from this place, take you to a spot. We had, I don't know, we had it three years ago, four years ago. The owners decided they wanted to give it a shot. And they're a younger couple that owns the place up here. And, uh, just being young, you know what I mean? And they, uh, they found out farming is not for everybody. As we all know, it's not, it's absolutely not. But anyway, we picked the lease up on this place again. I got it in contract for five years. So I'm gonna take y'all up there. I got, I don't know if you can see it up there on the tractor and I got me a spade and I got a couple of buckets. We're gonna pull some soil samples. So I'll know if I need to put anything on the pastures up there. Strictly gonna be for critters. But I'll show you around up there. It's got a nice little barn on it. We're gonna redo inside the barn a little bit. And pretty much all of it's fenced. It's four acres fenced in up there. So anyway, I'm gonna head up the road and I'll get with y'all here in a minute. A little bonus footage. All the trees are starting to get some leaves on them. Things getting pretty green. See what the old river looks like down here. I think I've told y'all before, but there's two rivers comes into one right down here. I'll show y'all here in a second. Imagine it's up. It's Monday morning. We got a pretty good amount of rain Friday. It don't take much. This old river comes up pretty big, pretty quick. Kind of bad, kind of chocolate milk. That's one side of it. That's the other side of it. Then it flows into one right over there. Anyway, got about three quarters of a mile. We'll be there. I'll see y'all in a bit. Show you all a little bit what's going on. So he's got a few goats. They got a few goats left. I had him sell quite a few. That just wasn't worth crap what he did have. Money is good, so I said, man, go on and sell them while you can make a little money. And this little pond here. So before they bought the place, the owner said that it held water good. It had fish in it. Muskrats had got into it. Well, they had tunneled so much in it that it just won't hold water anymore. So, where he's got that line of T-posts going down there across the dam on that back side, I'm gonna come across this front right here, about from that tree, and I'm gonna put a fence all the way around it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go the old way. They, uh, they had checked with several equipment operators and whatnot folks that supposedly fixed ponds and they wanted to drill it and test and do it whoop and it was going to cost him a debt blame fortune so i was like man it'll be all right so i wrote in the contract we're going to put three calves in here in this pasture and i'm going to put probably three or four hogs inside a pen inside that pond and what happens is is my granddaddy Raised hogs about all my life. We killed our own hogs, as y'all know, whatnot. But them getting in there stomping around in that thing and rooting and, and doing all they do, they will fix that pond where it'll hold water. So I got this place. I wrote it in the contract that I get it for, I've got it at least for five years now. I had it, and like I said, they wanted to try, do their own thing, which is fine. I want folks to. But, you know, sometimes folks are a little hard-headed or whatnot, and it's hard to listen. And that's okay. I mean, they didn't actually fail. They just didn't, you know what I mean? As you can see, they still got a little herd of goats, you know what I mean? But I'm going to take them over. 
I'm gonna take care of them my way. And if you know if they don't cut the mustard, they'll go, and we'll put something else. We'll get them something else. But uh, we're gonna go up here on top. I'm gonna start on top, pull in a couple of spots up there, and then I'll come down here and get a spot or two in this lower spot, and then a spot there on that hillside right there. Now to kind of give me an idea of what this pasture is going to need. We sowed this when I when I had it the last time. I mean, you can see the clover is coming up in it, unbelievable. But I brought the cedar up here, and I put you can kind of tell it the orchard grass is coming in on it and whatnot. But I put red and white clover in it. Uh, it's got a little Timothy orchard grass is pretty thick in it. Uh, uh, it does have a little bit uh, goat can have a whole lot but it does have a little bit of alfalfa in it i mean a very little but it does but it's primarily clovers and man you can just tell daggone clover it's thick i'm gonna light that up i'll throw that in a pile and get them crowd panels out of there and i'll put that in a little pile and We'll burn that mess but i think this place is just a it's not quite six acres counting what the house is sitting on so i figure the lot there where the house and the little their little awning deal there their little covered carport i guess we kind of got it figured that it's probably four acres or so fenced so <clears throat> yeah pretty tickled like i said we're gonna put some calves in here to kill this fall have some hogs in here to kill this fall and that's really why i wanted it i don't know i mean it'd be a chance that i bring some goats up here maybe probably will end up having to so i can reseed and fertilize one of mine there at the house so while that's getting a break i don't know like i said but look i'll pull these i'm gonna dig these samples and uh when i head back up that way we'll go in the barn i'll show you inside the barn and then i'll show you the lot out front too but uh i'll see y'all here in a bit guess got to ponder that too i thought well i guess i'll show you what i do on soil samples so i just run those spade in the ground about four inches or so pop it up and then what i like to do you know all this up in here where you see these roots that's where most of your nutrients going to be so i come down here at the very bottom i get a little handful of it put it in the bucket right and just kind of put that back in so I'll do that in a spot or two in the middle, spot or two on that upper side. I'll mix that up real good. Here, they want us to, they want us to usually three cups, literally like measuring cups. That's what they want you to send in. So I'll mix this up when I get home real good. And then I'll put three cups of it in a bag and then we'll take it off and get soil samples but it kind of gives you i'm right here at the, the back part of it so you can see you know this this pasture here it, it's easily three acres here maybe a little more and then out in the front you know pretty much their whole front yard has got a fence around it so like i said it's at least four acres but like I said, I needed it. Basically, like I said, I wanted to kill my own beef and one of my own hogs. So this is hard fenced all the way around. And I could run them in here and don't have to worry about it. So, and it's just right down the road. Shoot, like I said, it's three and a half miles tops from my house. So it's perfect. But anyway, I'm gonna go down there in that middle, get me a stab or two, and then get me a stab or two on that top side. Then we'll go to the barn. See y'all a bit. <laughs> Figured I'd show y'all. Thought maybe out there they might be a little deceiving, but shoot, you look right here where the top of the bank is. 
You draw a straight line over that joker. I mean, it had to be. If it was full and held water, it'd be at least 10, 12 foot deep. Shoot, maybe even deeper than that. But like I said, from about where that tree is, I'll come around this bank right here, kind of kindly follow around like you see. And uh, I'm gonna hard fence it, put some electric wire on the inside of it. Probably some over here where that oak is, a little red oak. Put some kind of little shelter right there for them to get in out of. I'll put me some pigs in that joker and we'll have that pond fixed in a year or so. It takes them a little bit, but they get it fixed. They'll definitely do it. I say daggone muskrats, boy. They just rent it. Them pigs get in there stomping around, rolling around, wallering. And they'll fix it for sure. Well, I got all my samples for this back pasture. I'm going to take it out, get my other bucket. We'll go in the front. And uh, I'll show you the barn and how it's all set up. But, uh, I'll see y'all in a minute. Well, I'm in the barn. Show you what we got going. Planning on probably gonna take this stall here out. It's always been a nuisance and right in the deck gum way. I never did like it, but this one's probably gonna stay. This one's gonna stay. That's goat shoot. There's a pile of eggs over in the corner you might not know about. Then you come out here. And this, when you come out that door, that takes you in that front pasture, which I'll show you in a minute. And then there's kidding stall rows down through here. We put does in them when they're having their kids. We leave them in here a day or two, you know what I mean? Up to a week, depending. But yeah, that's what this is. There's lights in here. We wired lights in it. Everything in here's got lights. Just I ain't got them turned on. Wasn't no sense in it, but yeah, the old barn. I gotta do some cleaning on it, get it cleaned out real good. But I'm gonna rent me one of them little, one of them little daggone. Uh, I can't think what to call them. But it's on tracks. Got a little bucket. You know what I mean? Little bee thing. You stand on the back of it. Try and clean this out. Get it good to go. Look up there. There's a chicken nesting up there. I bet she's got babies in it. Or probably sitting on eggs. We'll have babies. But yeah. So this is the barn. I say this, this, uh, that stall wall right there, it's probably gonna come out. I say, it's been a, it was a thorn in my side before. I just never liked the way it was. And I'm gonna, move the you got a set of scales already on it you know what i mean digital scales but i'll probably end up bringing that chute setting it over here that way when we bring them in from the back back there if we bring them in from the front leave this wall up right here and it's got that little gate bring them over here and if this was you know what i mean if this was gone you have a gate here and you corral them through that and then it could come right down through here and then you shoot them out over here on the other side, shoot them out in the front, whatever. It's just going to work out better. So I, I want to get rid of it. And I'm going to. I wrote it in the contract that I was going to. Because like I said, it has aggravated the fire from the enemy. And there's another old hen sitting up there. I think he's got more chickens running loose up here than I thought he did. Anyway, I'm going to go back out this front door here. And we got here in the front. And I'll show you the front of it when I get my samples out there. So I had this little, I forgot to show you all this too. Had this little, uh, I think he used it originally, this little off side of the barn here for, uh, I think he was putting nannies and little ones in it or something. But what I plan on doing with it, being it's hard fence too, I'm gonna put me a gate from the corner of the barn right there to that post where you can see them gate post or gate hinges was. I'll put me a gate on it and then I got me one we got two right there where you can come through. This is where I'm going to finish them calves off this pen. I'll put me a round bell feeder in here. Put me a place up here under this eave. 
probably use one of them feeders right there set up here put me a water tank in here i'll grain finish them beefs get ready to kill them so gotta get this pile of manure this was all manure come out of the barn originally uh, i'll get it out of here get these few t posts out of here and clean this little bit of mess up let this grow up again i'm gonna put some calves in here when i go to finish them off but i'm gonna come out here and i'm gonna pull me samples in two or three spots out there and i'll, I'll wrap this one up here in a little bit well i'll get out in there and show you what it looks like out there here in a minute so we're up here in this upper end of this you can kind of tell look down through where that fence is and then over there to the barn about another 40 yards here behind me so this is an acre acre and a half as it sits you can't really tell from right here where i'm standing these little bradford pears but kind of right in there you can orchard grass boy it's my favorite stuff really it's coming in thick not a whole lot of clover showing really a little bit in it it's not like it is in that back pasture though i mean there's patches but which is good it'll come back i got some fencing to do here fix the fence in the front where i can get them back in here run them in here again like i said y'all seen it i say i had this i had this place for i don't know a couple years i guess now we got it for five i'm pretty happy with that Crap picked up. Yeah. So that's probably gonna wrap it up for this one, y'all. Pretty happy to show you this one. Pretty happy to get this place again. Close to home and more ground. And man, I always need more ground. I don't never have enough. <laughs> you know. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but it's the truth. I really don't have enough yet if interest rates and stuff had ever come down i'd buy another place but Whew. so another parcel day in the life just wanted y'all to see this one you'll get to see it a lot more say this place here is strictly for critters won't be no haying going on or nothing here but fence fixing and critter running that's all you'll see here. Anyway, enough of me jabbering. I got other crap to get done yet, so. I wanna thank y'all if you've made it this far. Appreciate you watching. And uh, when I come up here to start on this one, get this fence ready, whatnot. And I'll bring y'all along for that one that's coming pretty quick anyway fertilizing liming getting ready for hay that's all coming pretty fast so thank y'all for watching i'll see you next time bye